All right, so we're back in the game. We're doing a YouTube live, and I'm looking more gangster and ghetto than ever before. And that is because, let me share my screen. I'm, in fact, I'll tell you that story in a second. Today, what we're going to be talking about is how to get ChatGPT backlinks and basically how I build backlinks to my AI SEO sites for free. Some of the free methods, some of the paid methods. And I'm just going to run through the backlinks I've got in my profile so that you can actually see what's working for me right now. And there's no BS and there's no fluff. If you want to know the story behind why I've got a bandana on and a bandage underneath, let me share my screen and I'll show you exactly why. So essentially... I was on I was on Google and I was searching around and I was looking for keywords and I thought I'm thinking about a hair transplant, you know, and I saw this this Reddit review just popping up for hair transplant reviews turkey. So I was like, well, let's check that out. Scanned through the content, landed on Reddit. I was like, that is definitely helpful content. Let me click on this link and, and booked it in. And here we are today with a bandana on. Hair transplant done. And so, just kidding. Actually, I, I did get a hair transplant though. So anyway, let's get into how the backlinks are working for our AI SEO sites. And if you have any questions, just feel free to post them in the live. If you're watching back, feel free to post your questions about link building and backlinks inside the comments, and I'll answer those later. And we're just going to get straight into it. So this is my website, juliangoldie.com. You can see that the traffic is going up nicely every single month using content with ChatGPT. And we're not going to talk so much about the content creation today, but more about how to get backlinks to your site. The reason that you need backlinks, obviously, more authority equals more traffic. And if you look at any websites that are performing extremely well, going back to our Reddit example previously, you can see that the highest DR websites on the internet are also the ones that are benefiting the most in terms of traffic. So if we wait for Ahrefs to load right here, and it's taking its time, but you can see that ever since the Google updates last year, after every single one of these updates, chat, uh, Reddit has just got more and more and more traffic, right? And it's just going absolutely to the moon. And I don't think they care about trust flow or spam score or getting backlinks from casino websites or whatever. I think the main name of the game these days is just how much DR do they have? How much authority do they have? And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, please smash a like on it. That would just help me reach more people and help more people for free with this particular video. So let's run through some of the backlinks for some of my websites recently. And I can show you what's working in 2024 to get backlinks. And I'm just going to ignore some of these top links right here because we want to focus really on what's working right now. What's working today when it comes to link building. Now, one of the things that I've seen come through recently tons is still backlinks from my GPTs, right? So you can see that the backlinks that I'm getting from this website, whatplugin.ai, are all pointing to the GPTs that I've created. And, and that's basically how it's working so far. MV Media says, the man, the myth, the legend again. Thanks so much for being on again. And Brent Bauer says, hey, Julian, are you using backlinks to the Parasite SEO posts? So that is a really good question. So we can talk about backlinks to Parasite SEO posts straight away if you want. And if we look at a keyword, for example, like ChatGPT for link building right here, we'll scroll through the list, we'll change this to English, and you can see that my LinkedIn post right here is ranking number one for that keyword. Now, if we check how many backlinks are pointing to this particular page, we'll pull that up on Ahrefs you can see that we have two backlinks pointing to it. And I think it still makes a massive difference. Now, obviously, if it's a Parasite SEO page, you don't want to spend too much money or invest too many links into that page unless it's going to make you a ton of money, right? But the other thing is, well, when you're doing Parasite SEO, because it's such a high DR website, for example, this is LinkedIn Pulse, and it's a domain rating 98 website, you can get away with a lot more when it comes to link building. So potentially, you could go on to Fiverr.com, you could get a few t tier two backlinks and that will basically work nicely. Now, if we look at the backlinks we've actually built to this Parasite SEO post, you can see that we actually have two. We have one from fatrank.com, who's basically noted us as a case study in their list of the best Parasite SEO websites. And we've also got a backlink from my website personally. 
Now, I think that's made a huge difference in terms of helping boost the page and get more backlinks to the site. And Shem says, will this be available to watch again afterwards? Yeah, so you can watch all my lives backwards, uh, so back if you want. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which is Julian Gold SEO, and then you click on live, every single live that I create is available to watch afterwards, right? And it's crazy actually how many some how many views some of these videos are getting. So you can see this one it got 24k views, this one got 58k views. You can watch all of them back. And the reason that I do these YouTube lives is that I can go slowly, I can go step by step, and I don't need to do any editing, which means that you see the whole thing. If I present myself terribly, you see that. If something breaks, then you see all the technical errors that can come up when you do SEO. And I think that's the beauty of, of being authentic and being real when it comes to creating content like this. So just getting back to the point, yes, I think backlinks for Parasite SEO work really well. And if I open up this page, this LinkedIn post page, you can see it ranking nicely. It's getting a decent amount. It's ranking for a decent amount of keywords, getting a decent amount of traffic. It's optimized for conversions, so it's going to generate more leads and more sales to our business because we've got all these CTAs throughout the page. For example, like, do you want to book in a call? Do you want to buy backlinks? Do you want to get a SEO coaching program, etc.? By ranking pages like this, we leverage the authority of a DR98 website. It doesn't cost us anything to rank on that site. It seems to rank better than my own website. And we can build just one or two backlinks to it, and that will get it to the number one spot when it comes to ranking. And so you might say, okay, well, how are you actually building backlinks to this website? And there's two ways, essentially, that I would recommend. Number one is you build a backlink from your own website. So I've got a backlink from juliangolder.com on an article about how to use ChatGPT for link building. And basically what I've done is linked from this page about ChatGPT for link building to my LinkedIn Pulse article about ChatGPT for link building. And that way, I'm getting backlinks that are kind of like link inserts naturally within the content and then pointing to my LinkedIn Pulse articles to get them ranking nicely. And if you want to find out, okay, where is the particular article that I've linked to directly? Let me find that for you right now. So yeah, you can see it on the page. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it right here, right? So I've just put, here's some more useful resources on link building with ChatGPT. And then I've linked to my Parasite SEO article right there to get it ranking. And it's a do follow backlink pointing to my LinkedIn article. The other way that I got backlinks, and I actually, I know James Doodley personally, but I didn't ask him to link to this page. But I think in their article about how to use Parasite SEO, they, they just referenced the LinkedIn Pulse article that's ranking nicely already as a good example, as a good case study. So there's two ways to get backlinks there, right? Number one, build links from your own site to Parasite SEO pages. And number two is create case studies, which is kind of like research and data to get backlinks because you become an authority the people will reference in their articles, right? Two different ways, both for free. I didn't pay James Dooley or Fat Rank for the backlink, and I definitely didn't pay myself to get a backlink from juliangolly.com. So both free ways to get backlinks. And again, all the content generated on this page was created with ChatGPT. I think what I actually did for this example was I took the transcript from one of my AI link building videos and then published that directly to ChatGPT and said, hey, take this video transcript, turn it into a blog, and then from that blog, I publish the content. Nice and easy. All right, let's keep it going. So we've already covered two ways to get backlinks, and that mainly works for Parasite SEO articles. And if you want to see an example of that, I'm going to put the example down there. And if you want to get access to all the SAPs and all the stuff that we talk about today and all the video notes, feel free to, to access my free chat GPT course. Next up, let's keep it moving. So if we go through the list, the other way that we're getting backlinks, and I've covered this a lot before, so I don't want to go too much in detail, 
But basically, you can see that we're getting loads of backlinks from whatplugin.ai, which is a GPT directory, right? And basically, what we're doing is creating custom GPTs on ChatGPT as a free tool. And then these directories that talk about GPTs are linking to our GPT, but also our website. And we get backlinks that way. So if I open up the source code right here, you can see the backlink in the text right over there. There we go. Let's keep going through the list. I'm just going to, Alexa, stop all timers. There are no timers set. We're going to go through what else we got. We have the backlink checker. That looks more like a spammy link, so I'm not going to cover that too much. Again, you can see the backlink here, DR10. This is a do follow backlink, and it's coming from a GPT directory. So basically what we've done is we have created a free AI SEO link building tool, as you can see right here, via ChatGPT, and then people are linking to our website, and we're getting do follow backlinks as a result. And I'll explain the strategy in a second. I'm just going to switch off Alexa one sec. All right, we're back in the game. That wasn't too long. So now what we're doing with this example is, and I'm going to include this example as well. This is another free backlink, is we're basically building custom GPTs, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, with ChatGPT, and that's attracting a ridiculous number of backlinks to our website. So you can see, do follow backlink right here, completely free, and it's linking to our GPT, but it's also linking to our website. Right, and that's an example of it. So Anke, Anika Mishra says, hello, how can I create quality backlinks for free sites? This is one of the best ways. And all you do is you go into ChatGPT, you know, open that up, and then from there, you're gonna go to explore. And I've just seen the video of myself with a bandana on. I know this looks ridiculous, but we're gonna click on create GPT. And from there, you just create a GPT that's useful, usually something that solves your own problem in your business so that you can create your own custom tool. Once you've created that, you're gonna make sure that you have a link in your builder profile. So you go to settings, builder profile over here, make sure that you have your website enabled for that tool. And then on every single tool that you get, for example, let's open them up, see what, see what the most usage is. So for example, this one, it got 500 SEO. You see, and you can see it says by juliangoldie.com, right? And then every time someone references this GPT tool inside our GPT directory, for example, like this one right here, we get a free backlink. And the benefits are you create a free tool, you solve a problem in your business, it's free to do attracts, I would literally say it attracts dozens of backlinks at scale. Plus you can train the tool to promote affiliate links for your business, right? So if we go into the custom instructions for this tool, for example, we go to edit GPT, you'll see the it promote, if anyone asks about SEO coaching, it's gonna send them to my mastermind. If anyone asks about how to grow the SEO agency, it's going to send them to my agency mastermind. If anyone asks, okay, uh, what's the best tool for, a, you know, an alternative to Ahrefs, then it's going to say, right, I use SE ranking. Here's the affiliate link, right? Uh, so this program is not just trained to help me with internal links. It's not just trained to solve problems in my business. It's not just trained to get me backlinks. It's not just free to do, but it also helps me promote affiliate links and make money that way as well. And so this process just works over and over again. Briston says, is that Vince McMahon? It is not Vince McMahon. I can confirm, unless he's changed his accent. But yeah, this is, uh, this is still Julian Goldie SEO on the ones and twos. So I'm just going to put this in the SP as well. 
And I've shown you how to do it. You basically create a custom GPT on chat GPT. And that's basically it. And then what you'll find with a lot of these custom GPTs is that they actually rank really well. So if I pull up my SEO outline creator right here, this is another benefit of creating them, is that it's going to rank for a bunch of keywords as well. And it's going to get a decent amount of traffic. And you can see it's collected 828 backlinks. So you can see it's ranking for, for relevant keywords. It's getting a decent amount of traffic. I think it dropped after OpenAI took it down, but then we've just got it back up again. So that should increase again. And yeah, you rank as well for free. So we've talked about three free ways to get backlinks to your AI SEO sites completely free. And all of these are very actionable. All of these are working right now. And that's basically how it goes. Now we're going to keep going through the list and look at how else we get backlinks. So another free way that you can get backlinks is if you go onto an example like this. This is a backlink that we actually got from Harrow. Now, Harrow has recently just connect, changed to connectively.us. So it used to be free. It's not free anymore. Just going to be 100% transparent with you. And basically what you're doing on here is you are creating and pitching journalists to get backlinks to your site. I'll explain now in a second. So essentially, you'll sign up to Connectively, just like you can see right here. And what you're going to see in the list of all queries is a list of journalists who are looking for people like you to comment and reply to them. And if you get featured, if they accept your pitch, for example, like if they're looking for people to talk about credit cards and they accept your pitch, then they'll feature you in the article and you'll get a backlink. And the backlink is going to look something like this one, as you can see right here. Now, if we go to the list, you can see that it's a do follow backlink that we've got right here, right? And what they've done is they've basically taken the pitch that is submitted to Harrow. And I haven't done Harrow for months, so this is probably about 12 months ago. And then we have earned a backlink from this site, which is completely do follow. Plus, we get the PR because it's mentioning my name and it's mentioning my company's name as you can see right here, right? And it's a really easy way to get backlinks. It works really well. The only issue that you're gonna find is that it does take a long time to receive those backlinks. So for example, if you look at this list, this was submitted in 2021. That's how long ago the article was from, but the backlink has only been indexed and published right now. You can see it was first seen on the 5th of February, 2024. So. I'm going to put this as the connectively slash Harrow method. I'm going to include this example right here, as you can see. And here's how it would work. So number one, you pitch journalists on connectively. I would say aim for a numbers game. So maybe five to 10 pitches per day, if you can. That's what we used to do. Track everything that you send, plus measure and iterate your responses. And then from there, you're just gonna keep going and going and going until eventually the backlinks come in. Now, in terms of expectations, and I think this is probably the key to Harrow, is a uh, you might not get backlinks until six to 12 months later. And that's the thing that most people struggle with. Everyone says, oh, I don't know how to find the backlinks. I don't know where to get them from. Harrow doesn't work. I've been pitching on Harrow every single day. No backlinks are coming through, etc." But Actually, you're not doing anything wrong. You're just expecting backlinks to come through too early. I wouldn't say impatient because I would expect backlinks to come in within 30 or 60 days but sometimes it can just take them much longer. And that's why I think six to 12 months is a reasonable amount of time to wait for the backlinks to come in. The other thing that I would say is that 99% of journalists, and I know this from experience, will not tell you 
that they've added your backlink. So for example, this backlink that we got right here on 5th of February, no one told us that backlink was there, right? So no one told us, oh, we've just added your backlink, Julian Goldie. Would you mind sharing the article? No one tells you. And so you have to keep a, a strict eye on your backlink profile and just see what comes through over time. And that's why you, you can do that with two ways, right? So you can use a tool like Ahrefs or SE Ranking or SEMrush to monitor your backlink profile, or you can set up Google Alerts and watch out for mentions of your brand. One question I got asked is by Just Ken is, do you recommend local SEO and rank and rent to get started? Honestly, I think for me, I've not made a huge amount of money from rank and rent. So I'm not going to be SEO and tell you like it's the best thing since, since this video on backlink methods. But I think rank and rent is very easy to rent. So for example, easy to rank. So for example, if I pull up my backlink, if I pull up my portfolio of websites right here, right, and I'm looking through the list, I'm like, okay, which sites are ranking nicely, okay? So, for example, this one, Appliance Repairs Michigan. Rank and rent website, it's ranking really nicely. You can see the DR is zero, so it's not attracting any backlinks yet, and it's it's got no authority at all. We probably built it, I would say, about 30 days ago, something like that, maybe, maybe 90 days ago maximum. And so you can see that it's already ranking for a bunch of keywords. It's always get, already getting a decent amount of traffic. And for a DR0 website that's just been built like a month ago, that is very, very unusual. And you can see it's ranking like number six or number nine, first page for some of its main keywords. Amazing. So it's really easy to rank these websites. The biggest problem that you're going to find when it comes to ranking rent SEO is actually selling those leads because you've got to set up the conversion rate optimization on your website and I'm actually going to do a video on that probably tomorrow. Um, additionally, you have to sell these leads to local companies, right? So I don't think the issue is ranking. I think that's very, very easy from my own experience and based on this website. You can rank within 30 days if you want. This was created in December. In By January, it was already ranking on the first page. But you've got to crack the code in terms of selling those leads. And that's not something I've personally done yet. It is something I will do this year. Um, when I learn how to do it, I will explain everything on video. But yeah, basically, it's going to take a little bit of time. So we're going to keep going through the list. Um, we've covered Harrow. Now, if you want my Harrow SOP, I've actually got a Harrow SOP right here on how to do link building with Harrow. Um, I'm going to plug that into this section right here. So if you want to know like how to do Harrow step by step, or maybe you want to give it to your team to get free backlinks, just like I have, and I've shown you already today how to do that, then you can check out this particular SAP right here. And it literally shows you a video on how to do it, how to sign up, how to optimize your profile, how to send and answer Harrow queries, the templates that you should use, what not to do and the mistakes you can make, mistakes to avoid, video SAPs and tutorials, templates you can use. This is all going to be available in my free ChatGPT SEO course. It's got a template right here that's proven for me, as I've already shown you. I've got backlinks from Harrow plenty of times. And it's even got a tracker that you can use to get backlinks and track all of your responses. So if you want that SAP, it's going to be inside my free ChatGPT SEO course. And we'll come on to that in a minute once we finish the course once we finish this video. So let's keep it moving now. What else we got? So we've talked about this Harrow backlink right here. And I only want to focus on the good backlinks. I'm not going to focus on the bad ones because there's no point teaching you how to build backlink, backlinks that are bad. What else have we got here? Let's check out this backlink right here. This is one interesting one. Hmm. This is interesting, right? So sometimes what you're going to find is that when you get a backlink from an original source, it's not just going to be published to that source, 
but it will be curated across multiple websites. So for example, if you look at this particular page, what they've done is they've taken a article from Niche Pursuits, which, which mentioned me in my podcast episode with them. And then it's linked out to my website from that article as well, as you can see right here. We've got a do follow backlink from a DR29 website. And basically what it's doing is curating the original backlinks that I got. Now, if you want to learn how I got that original backlink, let me find that on Google right here. We'll put, there we, we'll put, we'll try and find the article. Here it is. If you want to learn how I got this backlink, basically what I'm doing is using the podcast outreach method to get as many backlinks as I can, right? And so you'll see that we got this do follow backlink from Nice Pursuits because we were featured in a podcast by them. And if we check out the domain rating of that website, it's a DR74 website, so it performs pretty well. And the whole website gets nearly half a million traffic, so fair play to them, they've done a good job, and obviously it's a real site from real people. And basically what we're doing to get backlinks like this is using the podcast outreach method. Now I'm gonna jot that down in terms of how you can actually get backlinks like this. And I'll include that example that we've just talked about, which is this one right here. And I'll have to go in a few minutes. But basically how we're doing this is we're reaching out to relevant podcasts in our niche, asking them to have us as a guest on their podcast. And then from there, we get featured equals free backlinks, like the free backlink that you can see right here. And the other thing is about podcasts, your backlink gets curated across multiple sites equals more backlinks, more free backlinks, right? And how does that relate to ChatGPT? Well, the reason that we're getting featured in content like this is because we're talking about relevant trending topics, right? So we're talking about SEO and ChatGPT. And that comes back to this line right here, which is create case studies on trending topics. Because if you want to get backlinks, you have to become the authority in your niche because then people will reference you and have you on their guest posts or have you as a guest blogger, et cetera. It's an easy way to get backlinks. And so just to recap, we have talked about five ways to get free backlinks that are working for me right now. I've shown you my backlink profile. I've shown you all the do follow backlinks that we've got. I've given you examples of each method that's actually working right now. And these are all for 2024 because they're all recently built backlinks. I've shown you that these backlinks are actually getting us traffic as well as you can see. And I've proven that each of these backlink methods is completely free. So hopefully you now know exactly how to implement these free backlink methods, what's working right now. We've cut through all the BS and the fluff. And you've seen that I'm currently wearing a bandana. So it's been a good day. Now, what I'm actually going to do from here is I will take, I'm going to put Feb 2024 as the title because that's when the backlinks are working. And I'm gonna take this SAP that we've talked about today, and I'm gonna plug it into my free chat GPT SEO course. Now, if you want access to that, links in the comments and the description. And it will show you five ways that are actively working right now. This is not like some total BS, like, okay, content is king. Make sure you create content to get backlinks. No, 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 no. This is all proven stuff that actually works today and actually works in February 2024, which is what you want, right? So I'm going to scroll to my link building section inside the free chat GPT SEO course right here. I'm going to add a new lesson called Feb 2024. And that is going to have the SAP that we've talked about today to get free backlinks to your website. If you're enjoying this video, please do smash a like on it. That would make a big difference. And there you go. You've got all the free ways that I get backlinks today to increase my SEO traffic and grow my business. And if they work for me, they'll work for you. SEO is actually very, very competitive to get backlinks in because obviously there's so many different players and everyone knows what's going on. So to get free backlinks in five different ways in one month is amazing. And if you can do the same, then fair play to you. So I've published that right now. 
and you can get free access to my chat GPT SEO course, which comes with, let's take a cheeky look. Once that loads, yeah, so it comes with over 160 lessons. Now, every single lesson has a video tutorial, instructions on how to implement it, SAPs, templates. If you want to learn, if you want to learn or teach your team how to do keyword research, you can. If you want to learn the best SEO tools, you can. If you want to learn how to create content, you can. Basically, every single thing that you can ever possibly think about with SEO, and I know because I, I think about this stuff 24 hours a day, is all detailed inside this course. And it's completely free, right? It's in the description. So feel free to get that. And if you do want to book in a free SEO strategy session, where we can basically talk to you about how we get results, just like we've spoken about today, where SEO traffic is increasing. We've got to a DR50 free website, which 99% of websites will never get to. You can see that we're building backlinks consistently every month. And I've shown you five ways that we've actually got backlinks this month to help our website grow. So if you want to get free access to a free SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. Links in the comments in the description. Um, we'll basically give you an SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions that you have. You'll discover the best link building strategies for your website and you'll learn how to quickly outrank your competitors. And basically what we're going to do on that call is look at your competitors, look at the keywords you want to rank for, analyze the gap between where you are and where you need to be, and then just give you a very precise game plan. And like, right, here's how many backlinks you need. Here's how much content you need to create. Here's what type of content to create. And here's how to create it, et cetera. So basically everything you need to succeed with SEO, you will get on that call. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Really good questions today and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.